The mystery of God. So now that you understand why Christians say that God is unique, it would be good to share more about this uniqueness of God. It is mysterious in that it does not seem so evident, but then when you really stop and think about it, there could be no other kind of deity but this mysterious, unique God. I'll do my best to be simple and clear, but remember we are trying to describe God. In the first three chapters of the Bible, we understand this about the Creator. He is outside of time, everywhere within it, and also walking on it. All this from the first three chapters is a lot to take in. God does not tell us exactly what he is to be compared to. Actually, quite the opposite is true. Nothing can compare with his being, Isaiah 40, verse 18. The passage is concerning those nations that have a God that they can look at, touch, and see. The God of the Bible will not allow Israel or anyone to think for a moment that the actual creator of all can be understood in a complete way by humans. This is where Christians find it somewhat easy to recognize cults. God is not able to be fully comprehended as Elihu comments in Job, Job 36, verse 26. I find it fascinating that people criticize Christianity because we admit that we cannot fully understand God. But as I stated previously, God is the first cause of all. So if you find it hard to understand the creation, it would seem plausible and reasonable that comprehending the Almighty would be a far shot. No theological study of God will encompass a complete understanding of God, but it does not leave us to simply say, quote, God is above all who can know him, unquote, and walk away. The Bible certainly gives a person a view of God that is truly amazing. The best way I like to think of God by how he is described is multidimensional. I don't mean that God is a line or a box. That would be too simple. What I hope to do is better get an idea of a being that is described as the creator of time, everywhere within time, and also at a single point on the earth through understanding dimensions. Keep in mind this is just a model for understanding what the Bible is telling us about God. We get this concept from the first few pages of the Bible. God is not only outside of the box, but he knows intimately everything within the box, and he also can be at a specific point in the box. He can do this all without giving up his presence outside the box or everywhere within the box. This is what is seen in the reading of the entire Old Testament. God is outside of time holding the world together. Psalm 53, verse 2. Psalm 135, verse 6. Nothing on the earth is hidden from him. Proverbs 15, verse 3. He can be on the earth talking specifically to an individual person. Exodus 3, verses 1 through 22. How can God be doing all three things at once? The complexity of God was acknowledged by the ancient Jews who wrote explanations of the Torah called the Targum. They called the active force of God and his interaction with mankind the Memra. I don't blame them. If anyone reads the Bible and takes it for what it says, they will come to the same conclusion. It's like three notes that are being struck at the same time making up a chord. This certainly was a mystery to the Jewish people, as well as us. You can maybe see why Christians are often misunderstood as to what they believe about God. The pagan world could show people their God or gods. Offshoots of Christianity simplify God because the Orthodox Christian view of God is too difficult for them. An example of this is when Karim Adju Jabbar converted to Islam in the 70s. He was asked why he converted to Islam. The answer was one of simplicity. The concept of God and Islam was simple to him. Many feel the same way and use the same reasoning. But no amount of frustration will change what the text says or its complexity in revealing the nature of God. It is a mystery. The New Testament will do you no better to simplify matters. We are told it is the fulfillment of the Old Testament, so we could expect that it would be in agreement to who God is. We have established the Old Testament idea of a God of complexity, who is outside of time, everywhere within, and at one point on the planet. And now we will look to the New Testament and see the same concepts.